Hello everyone and welcome to a first look of the new North East Corridor route on Trenton Well 3. This being the well, sort of third but second part of the North East Corridor to enter Trenton World 3. Uh, also we had Boston Providence and this one is New York Penn to Trenton. And then on Trenton World 2020 you did have the North East Corridor New York which about half of this route, well actually about a quarter of it is sort of returning from that I suppose. Um, but yes, I suppose we'll jump straight into it and see what we can drive. Right, so here we are at New York Penn Station. Nice to see it back on Train Sim World 3. Obviously, we have it on the Long Island Railroad. Just something to mention, there is no Long Island Railroad AI at the moment. Maybe in the future it'll be added. Not too sure, but at the moment it's not there, but that, that's fine. Um, so let's get the train set up. It's a slightly different... Well, not a different variant, but it comes under, it's listed separately on the, so when you click ACS64. So I don't know if there's some slight differences to it. Probably not. Um, well, maybe. Uh, but anyway, let's get this set up. Set that to passenger. Uh, set that to bright. And we'll set that ditch light to on. There we go. Uh, we get the doors open as well. Oh, it does feel weird being in the ACS64 on here. Okay. Anyway. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the route map. So this is New York Penn. Nice that it doesn't lag when you try and load it up now. Uh, so we've got Sunnyside Yard. That returns. Uh, so you've just got a couple of trains in there now actually doing their, doing their little things. So yeah, Sunnyside Yard returns. Um, you guys, you've got leaving Long Island City there as well. Um, so the track as far goes as far as Woodside. I doubt you can actually drive to Woodside. And then the Hell's Gate Bridge, which, well, which was up there. Um, and yeah, we're going to be heading out of here, uh, down to Newark Liberty International Airport, and then all the way down to Trenton. And it said it was about sort of 50 or so minutes uh, down to Trenton, so not too bad. And why are we stopping? Maybe we're fast the whole way. Uh, we've got Newark Penn. Okay, we're not fast the whole way. Newark International Airport, uh, and then Metro Park, and then Trenton at 10.29. It's going to be a fairly quick run down to Trenton. I just thought for the first look, we'll sort of do a fast run. We won't see the Acela, um, as unfortunately at the moment, it's not on the PlayStation 5 version. I've tried downloading it, it says like, no. Um, so we won't see that just yet. I might even record a video of that on the PC, just to get the first look out as soon as it releases. Um, let's get the um, doors shut. There we go. Doors are closing. I uh, probably want to get these safety systems on as well. Even though we won't go HUDless, we might as well still get them on. HEP should already be on. Uh, get that on as well. And there we go. I think we are probably ready to go. Let's uh, get that off. And we'll get going. That's the uh, cat meow in there. That's Rudge. Come on. You're going to watch us. I think she probably wants to go out, but she's going to have to wait. Right. Brakes are coming off, and off we go. We begin the journey. There's the uh, New Jersey Transit over there, uh, which we'll look at in the next uh, video on here. That's for yeah, I suppose a fast, sort of fast, or sort of second fastest run, I suppose, along the line. It means we can sort of see all of the uh, sites and places, um, and then yeah, then we'll have a whole separate New Jersey Transit video, which will be straight after this. And we're off. Nine miles to Newark Penn. So it feels weird. I mean, this, is almost, this sort of section down to Newark Liberty is almost like a remastered section of the route. As this was, well, this was on Train Sim World before this bit. Uh, but only as far as Newark Liberty. So it feels really weird uh, being on here. And also the cab car. The cab car's also made a return. The Metroliner cab car. Um, and it's not DLC, it's just part of it. So. Awesome. Oh, New York Penn looks so much nicer though, just lighting and just the way it looks in general with the train some free lighting. It really does complement it well. Because before it looks a bit rubbish, New York Penn. I mean, Long Island Railroad, alright, but the old NEC, New York Penn was horrible. Uh, I mean, where that tunnel just ahead of us didn't load until you were like, well, here. Uh, it, yeah. If you know, you know. If you played the old North East Corridor and the New York Penn was always a bit of a... Uh, do we have to stop there? Oh, that's saying 125 now. Is it 120? No, 60. 
Oh, this is much nicer. Yeah. <laughs> can already tell the improvements. And I also thought we'd start someone we sort of already know, we're familiar with. And then sort of make our way out into uncharted territory. And big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off as well. All opinions, obviously, as I say, are all of my own. Um, I mean, I can't really comment on, you know, if there's anything wrong on this route because I don't know it in real life. Um, the only thing I can compare it off is the old Northeast Corridor, which is just be miles better. If it was like a local route, I could probably be like, oh, that might just not, that's not right there, that's not right. But I don't know, so I'll let you guys, if you see something wrong, put it in the chat, Dovetail might see it. So yeah, I can't really comment on if anything is wrong as I don't know the route. And let's get that up. So I suppose if you enjoy it, it's probably for you. If you don't enjoy it, then it's probably not for you. I'm just happy it's back in the game. Well, the bit we haven't got back in the game is New York Penn's new Rochelle. Although maybe that will be in future. There you go, let's get that up. I'll wipe that down. There we go. This is good. I'm excited to just see what's past New York Liberty. Um, that's actually where we did the uh, little intro saying, well, the intro to the video at New York Liberty. Just seeing what's past it. Eight miles to go. It goes up to 90 as well outside of the tunnel. And we're not stopping at Sakalkus Junction, or Sakalkus Junction, however you say it. We're going straight the way through. Eight miles to go, though. And once you get out the tunnel, it's like four or five. But the tunnel's massive. I think this is the... I want to say this is the Hudson River Tunnel, the one which is crumbling apart. Which I suppose they can't really <laughs> show that in the game, as I don't think... Amtrak, normal New Jersey Transit would be too happy with just seeing the tunnel depicted as crumbling apart in the game. I suppose you can see little cracks in it though, but that's probably fairly realistic. Get that up even more. There we go. That goes up to 60. So we'll be out of the tunnel fairly soon. Hello, Smudge. Are you going to watch us? It's meow, meow, meow. So we've got 10 minutes to New York Pen. But she should be probably getting there bang on time. I don't think we left. Oh, we, we forgot to the bell, didn't we, leaving? Oops. Sorry, American Rail fans. Yeah, from the map though, it seems like a fairly, well, straight route. Um, so you should be able to get up to quite a, well, you should be able to get up to quite a bit of speed in the Acela. Oh, look at this coming out of here. Oh, that lighting is so nice. Um, so yeah, you should be able to get up to, I think it's 150 miles an hour in the Acela. Oh, it, it's just, uh, like I say, it's so weird seeing this route just back. Just the train to, because it was only about a week ago I was on here on Train Sim World... Well, the original train sim world. So it's just so weird to see it as it is. But it's great. It's just great to see some of it back. I think a lot of people are happy. Is that out? Brother Meowie today. I've been out all day, so... I get back and she then wants to go out. <laughs> oh, hello. I oh, know, we're fine. We're all good. It's beautiful though. We've got dynamic weather on as well. My fingers crossed it won't stop bloody raining. Hopefully it's just... I mean, it's a sort of perfect weather, what it is at the moment. Hopefully it just stays as that. Probably is some of the best looking um, uh, weather. Just Well, just seeing the volumetric clouds, a bit of clear sky. It's It looks great. I would say sort of one of the best skyboxes I've seen um, in games. I thought it's stretching it a little bit. My controller's starting to break as well. It kept zooming in there and I didn't do anything. This is the Caucus Junction. 
Hey, New Jersey Transit. Hype. There's the ALP 46. Uh, with the, um, I suppose the gallery coaches behind it. So I think the cab car, just like as it was on uh, Train Sim World 2020, you can only take that, I think, from New York Penn to Newark Penn. But, I mean, that's how it is in real life. It only runs between, um, well, it does the Keystone Corridor services. Well, don't, it actually might go a bit further. So chill out, sit back, and enjoy the journey. And the webcam, yeah, it looks like it's in an all right place. You can see the speed, and you can see the gradient as well. Oh my God, we're going, we're going a bit fast. Get it in there. Sorry, train. Sorry, train. We're coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Oh God. Sorry, sorry, train. It's all right. It's all right. I always miss that speed limit. You sort of, you know, you go right up to 90. I know, yeah. Come on, in a minute. Yeah, meow. A, a stream of smudge meowing. <laughs> this is actually the second take. Is on the first take. We were just leaving New York Penn and bloody smudge jumped up on the back and fell off. So I had to go and make sure it was alright. <laughs> Very hyperactive. Oh, there's a little 60 warning board up there. On one of the um, gantries, there was a little sort of orange uh, 60. Three miles to Newark Pen. We've got another 60 coming up. This is just great seeing this again, though. And just the way it just looks so much better than before. As before, it didn't look fantastic, but then it was like the first... US passenger route in the game. So, understandable. Cool. As we come up to Newark Penn, and I'll let out the cat there. Got a 45 coming up. That's my chair again. Um. In a minute. Got what? Four minutes. Not even that. Probably actually get there a little bit early. Oh, plane. That must have been the plane what took off at Gatwick. It's now here. It's the same one. Almost like an Air France looking one. Down we go. Down one in 59 here. It's quite steep off of the uh, uh, embankment there. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, 45. Uh, panic, panic, panic. I think as long as you've got it in suppression, it won't put the brakes on. Have I just jinxed myself? I think I've just jinxed it. No, no, no. I think we're fine. No, we're fine. It's all good. We live another day. Might Probably not the best idea, playing with the safety systems straight away. Well, the good thing is they now actually work on this route, as before they didn't really work. So, yeah, oh my, down to 30, alright. Oh, we might be following something, possibly. Maybe we've got a red coming up. Oh, it's gone up to 125 now. So, probably not anymore. There you go, let's pop that up. As we come up to Newark Penn. Oh, hang on. Uh oh. That's not for us, is it? No, we're fine. That was that was, uh, that was literally just red there. That was that was whew. I could have gone there, uh, could have gone like that one. Maybe it wasn't for us. Um it wasn't for us. There's Harrison Station. I wonder if you can actually use that now. Well I think that's a path station, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any departures from there. There we go, this is Newark Penn. So soon enough we'll be on to the bit we haven't seen ever before on Train Sim World. Exciting.
Um, yeah, this is Newark Pen. Uh, but yeah, on this route, you've got the New Jersey Transit, Amtrak, um, Locos wise, ACS 64, uh, and the Amtrak cab car. Um, and then for New Jersey Transit, you've got the ALP 46 and the, uh, the, the coaches with it in the cab car at the end of there. And then if you've also got the Acela Express, you'll get a few extra services. Uh, on this route, which yeah, we haven't um, haven't downloaded that yet, as it doesn't seem to want to download. Maybe loco DLCs are different to route DLCs for sort of early access on consoles. So I might dig the well, not dig the PC out, but download uh, download it on there. And here we are. Oh, that's the stopping point there. Is it? I think it usually is, isn't it? Yeah, I think the usually means engine, I suppose, stop there. There we go. Let's get the doors open, and I'm going to lay out the cat. Hold on a second, everyone. This is Newark Pen. Right, the cat has been let out. So no more meowing. <laughs> um, we've got two minutes here, so we're a little bit early. So what we'll do is we'll go in the free cam and just see, well, what we can do. I don't know if I actually hear any new sounds for the ACS-64. That sounded... Oh, cab car. There we go. Well, that's the cab car there, uh, which is back uh, back in the game. The tiniest, tiniest little cab there. Very claustrophobic. <laughs> it's so weird seeing it. Uh, can we go down here? Is that possible now? Uh, no, I don't think we can go down there. Uh, what about the other lines? It's like the other platforms here. Is that for New Jersey Transit? I uh, don't think so. No, that's like oh, that, no, I don't know. I don't think we can go there. New York, New York, any regional by. Amtrak. Okay. So maybe it's only some of the services. Well, some of the services maybe only go to New York and some then obviously continue further up toward Boston. Got the Northeast Regional. So you've got the Amfleet coaches there back. Back in the. Uh, get the lights actually on. They should be on. Cause the HEP said it was on. Probably very dim. We'll have a little look. That's. Um, Let's go on to here and hold that. And I think you have to hold it for five seconds. Just in case they are not on. There we go. Let's have a look now. Are they on? Get the doors shut. No, they must be on. Just very dim. I'm guessing they are on, just very dim. It's a bit like the um, 395 uh, on southeastern high speed. The lights are on, they're just very dim, and same for the ice. Looks a bit weird, but let's put it the way it is. Newark International Airport next. Let's go. I don't know why I'm getting the HUD off there. Out of habit, that. Right, off we go. Goodbye, Newark Liberty. Okay. So, what is how long is it from Newark International then? So that was the, oh yeah, it's fine. That was obviously what we had before. So how much sort of further time-wise is it? So yeah, it's about it's sort of an extra half an hour from Newark International. I'm guessing it's a bit quicker as well. Um, let's have a look at the map again. Yeah, so it must be quite fast this next section. Um, as well, it only says we're going to be there in. 25, no, 35 minutes. Yeah, it must be quite quick. I'll get that up again, up to uh, 30. 
yeah, nice to be uh, in the ACS 64. Probably, I suppose, one of the best ones to begin to show off the route of a fast service. And yeah, separate video for New Jersey Transit, which will probably quite simply be titled New Jersey Transit. So yeah, I don't know if there are any actual differences to the ACS 64 as opposed to the Boston one. Uh, and I, w I would have said, yeah, it's got the Train Sim World 3 features, but the Boston one does now as well. Um, with sort of the new lighting and stuff. So I think they are probably the same. I could be wrong. There might be some tiny little differences. But I think for the most part they are exactly the same. And you can use the Amtrak 50th anniversary livery still if you own Boston Sprinter, which is nice. Get up even more. Yeah, we've got perfect weather for uh, for the run. Yes, yeah, so Newark International is where the Trenton World 2020 route used to end. Um, which I suppose there's not really any point of getting that route now, unless you want New York, Penn to New Rochelle, which is one of the most boring 60... No, is it 16 miles? I think it's 16 miles. One of the most boring 16 miles you'll, you'll have on train sim work. So slow, so windy. Uh, yeah, so... That's probably not much point getting that now. As we got this. But yeah, very exciting uh, few releases. As this is going to be releasing, well, if you're watching it on release day. This releases alongside the Acela, which I will try and get downloaded or do a first look on the, on the PC. Um... And also the Union Pacific Heritage Bundle, which probably obviously won't be as popular as um, as the others, but it's still going to be still going to be something to check out. Yeah, all right, we're down to forty-five. <laughs> all right, all good. And this is Newark International Airport. I think it's actually Newark Liberty International Airport. I oh, know it's just a Newark on there. And here we are. And we feel very weird coming out of here. And yeah, the displays don't work here. Well, it looks like we've got the sort of default UK looking CIS screens. Uh, which is slightly disappointing as I don't think that's what they use in real life. Um, but yeah, it's something, isn't it? At least we've got CIS. And PIS, you wouldn't get any on this train. I suppose it would probably be the guard doing the announcements. Because the coaches are from the 70s. Um, so, yeah, you don't get... <laughs> you don't get PIS. Or I suppose maybe they put paper on the door or something, just saying where it stops. Actually, probably not. Oh yeah, this is uh, New York Liberty. Uh, which is nice to see back. I wonder if they actually use the same model. Yeah, you got that there. Which I think, yeah, is, is not actually what the real ones use. But I personally don't mind. Well, I don't know this route in real life. So, yeah, it seems to be sort of the same bits and bobs. Right, let's get the door shut. And it's Metro Park next. Yeah, Metro Park. Which is in, can't be, well, I'm going to guess 12 miles. Spot on. Uh, Metro Park in 12 miles. Right. <laughs> Here we go, south of New York Liberty. It begins the sort of proper, proper, proper new bit. This is going to be exciting. I'm guessing the speed probably goes right up as well. And there's also a lot of racing on this route as well. So you'll be racing a New Jersey Transit, maybe even the Acela at some point, you'll be racing that along. What we'll do, um, we'll, uh, at the end, when we get there, we'll come out and look at what scenarios and services you get on, on here. I don't know how much you get for the Acela, 
um, but I can show you the ACS 64, ALP 46, New Jersey, all of the other bits and bobs. Yeah, it's alright, yeah, I want a little bit above. It's alright, don't panic. Yes, yeah, so I wonder what this section's like. Is it rural or is it quite built up? I'm gonna guess it's probably quite built up. As we're still. Well, I think we're in New Jersey now. I think when we cross that river, we're in uh, coming into New York Penn, I think we're then in New Jersey. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, I don't think that signals for us, is it? Well, I hope it's not. Well, coming across the tracks. And it's up to 110 miles an hour. Very nice. Well, we've got an 85. Hopefully, hopefully it's not like the northern section between New York Penn and New Rochelle on train to my 2020, where the speed changes every sort of 200 meters or so. Well, the 80 still still stand 45, so we'll stay at 45. Hopefully not for long. Is it going to go up? It's been fine so far. Hopefully it does. There you go, up to 124, up 110 for us. And we're off. Awesome. Leather Master Metro Park. So quite sort of straight now down to there. And you've got all of the other little stations where you'll get the New Jersey Transit train stopping at. Which I think a full run in New Jersey Transit takes around 90 minutes. So it's quite a long run in them. Whereas in this, I think it was about an hour. Oh my god, we're down to 45 again. Why are we coming down to 45? There we go, it's getting all angry with us. Why would it be 45 here? Then it'll be a case where it's um, being funny. Used to be like that on the old uh, NEC. That's sort of just bringing down for really, not really any reason. Oh, 45 again. Hopefully not for too long. It would be nice to get up to full speed. At least we are following. So let's have a look at the map. Are we following something, maybe? Um, let's have a look. No, don't think so. No, I don't know why it's bringing us down then. Unless it's for the 85. Um... Yeah, I might turn up, back up now. Alright, back up we go then. Tons of uh, other little stations along here. Well, hello, whatever this one is, as we make our way through. But yeah, lots of trains on this route. I mean, the signal speed is saying 125, but it's about to come down to 80. We're due there in about 6 minutes, so probably a little bit late. As it's still got, well, 9 miles to go. And 125 coming up, which I think is the top speed of the ACS 64. Uh, although in the Acela, you'd be able to go up to 150 miles an hour. Uh, which is mind boggling. There we go, long we go. Uh, this looks like probably a straight line all the way. Cool stuff. And hopefully the signal speed won't come down. And up we go, come on, there we go, right up to 125 miles an hour. Here we go. Uh, seven and a half miles, so we might actually get there on time. If that signal speed doesn't come down. That yeah, should be doable, I mean what's that, five minutes, seven and a half miles. I reckon it is doable. As long as the ATC speed doesn't come down, I think we'll be be there in no time. Let's clear it up as well now. I don't want any clouds about. Cool. But yeah, the second section of the Northeast Corridor 
within Train Sim World 3 and I suppose overall the third section within the Train Sim World franchise or series. But down we go. Oh, hello. I think that's the alerter. That sounded a bit different to uh, what usually makes, so maybe there are a few differences on this one. Uh, let's, let's have a look at the FPS. Yeah, not, I mean, we're on the PlayStation 5, 50. It's not too bad, so it's down to 40. So I suppose overall smooth. Not many trains though on here. I'll have a look after sort of what services there are. I think the busiest part is between New York Penn and Newark Penn. So that's sort of the busiest section of the route. It's a bit, I think, a bit quieter down this way. Well, still busy, busy for I suppose the US. Down we go. It's got to be a New Jersey Transit train on the. Uh, I reckon we're going to pass one soon. One be race one. A race would be cool. Pop it down to 110. Before it starts moaning at us. And we've got four miles to Metro Park. So far, quite a nice. Nice and quick. One of the signal. Is that the same model as the Long Island Railroad one? Oh, probably slightly different. Three and a half miles, that's coming down in no time. What's going on with the wires there? Hmm. This is good. So I wonder what's a metro park. What's a metro park? I mean, when I when I see that, I think oh, maybe there's some sort of transport interchange there, sort of metro park. Um. Maybe it is. Maybe there is lots of different lines joining up there. Well, I'm pretty sure Metro Park has a different meaning. Oh yeah, in the in the US, down to 45. And the brakes will come on in a second. There you go. Brakes are coming on now. That's coming right the way down. Don't really know why, but I mean actually no, we do have a 45 coming up, but that's still in just under two miles. I'm not too sure what's having a go at us now. There you go, that's down. Get that up. Surely there must be some more New Jersey transit trains on the way. I reckon I'll see one at Metro Park. But yeah, we'll try every single train. So in this one, we're doing the ACS 64. Uh, in the next one, probably do the sort of New Jersey Transit ALP 46. Um, and we've got the Metro Line of Cab Car, which is only sort of a short 20 minute video or so. Because I think they only want to, uh, run to New York Penn. Um, well, New York Penn to New York Penn. And then we've also got the uh, the New Jersey Transit Cab Car. And then at some point the Acela. Uh, which I'm still in denial whether I'll download that on the PC. Just since it's, it's out, and about, out and about the video when the embargo ends. Uh, so I think that's going to be quite a quite a big big hit, uh, but we'll see. Baseball. Lovely. I've seen a lot of models which I've seen on uh, Long Island Railroad. I suppose it's still a fairly similar area, isn't it? So probably similar buildings and etc. Let's see how this route looks at night. Probably quite nice with the uh, sort of just about well, train symbol well, three bits and bobs. As we come up to Metro Park. Or is it like a town? Maybe it's just the name of a town. Or a city, as pretty much every place seems to be in the US. Brilliant.
But you've got in cab signalling, what well, you can see on the outside, but it tells you which ones are coming up on there. Cab signal aspect. There you go, bring us down to 45 quite early. But I know there's been quite a few sort of crashes on this route. Um, I suppose it's about well, safety first. There's another Amtrak regional. There we are, this is Metro Park. Seems like quite a modern station. Here we are. We haven't seen really many New Jersey transit trains. I hope we'll see one. We've seen, what? I want to say one? I think there was one at Sakalkas Junction. Don't know how regular they are. So it'll be sort of every half an hour or so. Hopefully we'll see another one uh, soon. I suppose this is probably one of the places where the, this one would pull over and then the seller would go straight through. So all right, I think we're in the platforms. Let's come to a stop. Here we are. Now I think there, there might be slightly different sounds on this one to the Boston Sprinter one. I think the alert definitely sounds a little bit different. Here we are. That one's off. Where's that one going? It's beautiful though. Uh, that one's going in there. Oh, so the second one, yeah, that will be. I think the ones just in New York are the New Jersey Transit ones. So we might have got it a slight quiet spot. Um, I mean, that's not too bad, I suppose. Let's get a nice uh, couple of screenshots. Should be able to get the door shut as well now. There you go, they're closing. And I'm going to say 20 miles to Trenton. 33. <laughs> Right, okay then. Oh, hello. No, where are we going? We're going that way. Bit of a gradient there. 33 miles. Jesus, that's quite a way. Oh, you've got sparks on the pantograph as well, as you can see. Uh, top right there. So there's a bit of a applying power. Nice few sparks. And off we go. I mean, I suppose if we're going 125 odd miles an hour, 33 miles, is isn't really going to take that long. Similar distance between Route 128 and Providence. Which is, what, 20 minutes? So it shouldn't take too long. Got 110 we can go up to. So we'll get that up. 110 miles an hour and 105 as well. Yep, beep, beep. That's gone up as well, which is good. That should go up in a second. I'm surprised it hasn't already. Come on, train. We should be able to go. There we go. And we've got 105 miles an hour. I also noticed there's no speedboards either on this route, as it's all done within the um, within the cab. There we go, let's get that up. Yes, yeah, so it shouldn't take too long. Although I think from route, uh, route 128 to Providence, I think that's 38 miles, so a little bit less. And that is on the Boston Providence route, which is another, another section of the Northeast Corridor. I suppose yeah, if you if you enjoy if you haven't got the Boston Providence route, if you enjoy this one, you'll probably enjoy that one as well. Bit of diesel commute in action and well, the Acela Express as DLC. Uh, as well as this one, it's also DLC for this one. Uh, with the MBTA F40. It's another good route. So the clouds are starting to build again. So I don't mind dynamic weather on, on a route like this, where I'm sort of the express but fast service, where you're travelling quite a large distance within quite a small amount of time. So dynamic weather sort of makes sense, as the weather probably will change quite quickly but say if you're doing a route like I don't know uh, the Bakerloo uh, no that doesn't have to train some of free upgrades yet no 
Um, I'm trying to think kind of a route which has the dynamic weather. Southeastern high speed when you're doing one of the DC services. The weather, you know, changes. It seems to change every five minutes, and you're only going sort of a short distance. So I just I usually turn off dynamic weather on sort of the slower routes. So it's just a bit weird seeing it change so often within a short amount of distance. Whereas yeah, on this one it sort of makes sense to have it on. Now we've got a 95 coming up. Uh oh, it's not appeal that. Hopefully we, hopefully we can get a gold medal there. Up to 110, and I think for the ALP 46, I might just wing it and see if we can get it uh, get it moving. Because uh, that's, that's another thing I'm not really a big fan of uh, is the training centre. I'm not really a big fan of that. Uh, so f for tutorials, I like having tutorial tutorials on the actual route, as then you can sort of well get used to it a little bit within the tutorial. Um, whereas when you do the tutorials now, it's in the training centre, which I I don't I so I, I want to get I want to get on the route itself and give that a go. Um, so yeah, I, I, I might just wing it or I'll do the tutorial off off video, and then we can just get straight into it and get going on the route. And I think there's three trophies for this route as well. The reason there isn't many now is because of Sony, of their bloody limits. Get that up even more, got 28 miles. So quite a way to go. Some of the uh, New Jersey transit stations. Cool. Let's get that up. All the way up to 125. But yeah, really enjoying this so far. It's just nice to see sort of the change of scenery, sort of so from the literally heart of New York to where we are now, which seems sort of feels like we're out in the countryside a little bit, although it still feels quite, you know, suburban. It sort of tricks you. It's a bit like the Harlem line. On the Harlem line, you know, when you're sort of round Hart, Hartsdale, Scarsdale, it feels like you're sort of in the middle of the country, so but no, you're not. You're actually still in sort of the middle of New York. Um, so, so, so it sort of feels similar on this route. Sort of feels like we're out and about, but no, we're not. Well, this bit doesn't, but oh, look at this. Lovely. 145 miles an hour coming up. There's uh, a New Jersey Transit service. So the pantograph wasn't up there. Well, I'm sure these things will be sorted in good time. A little bit more. It says, well, 13 minutes. I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt we'll get there in 13 minutes. If we do, I'd be surprised. We've still got 25 miles to go. Well, that 145... I don't, I don't think we can go to 145. And I think the top speed of this train is 125. That's sort of the point of the the point of the Acela Express. It can go much faster up to 150. So I don't think we can actually go up to that speed. If we can, happy days. Well, I don't think we can. Because I think the signal speed will still uh, keep us at 125. Although saying that, that just says maximum for speed 150. So is it gonna? I don't think it is. So we've got 130 coming up as well. Yeah, it's, it's the main speed limit's keeping us, keeping us below that. There's another uh, Amtrak. And yes, it doesn't seem to have its pantograph up. But yeah, I'm sure these things will be sorted. I don't panic too much. Not game changing. 22, mi 22 miles and 12 minutes. I mean, we are going quite quick now. But I still don't think that's going to be possible.
So since we're getting a little bit busier now as we make our way along the line. I suppose maybe there was a slight gap in services between um, Newark Penn and Metro Park. We sort of caught it out a bit of a quiet time. Lovely. So it's been about 45 minutes so far, sort of since we at New York Penn. See the clouds are building up a little bit more again. But yeah, looking forward to getting to getting into the ALP 46, as the ALP 46 is a very similar design to the DBBR 101. Uh, which is another locomotive on the game, which is one of my favourite ones to drive for German trains. So as we're sort of seeing the US counterpart of it, looking forward to it. Nineteen miles now. So we've done what three miles and what's that? Three miles in a minute? A minute or two. That's not bad. When we keep that up, we might actually make it there on time. I sort of wish Train Sim World had that um had the same thing as Train Sim, where it sort of predicts what time you're gonna get to the station. This is like ETA you know, it would take ETA 10.30 or something on there. Absolutely flying along. I suppose we could try and get a flyby shuttle, although I think the train, actually... Mm, oh, we're going slightly faster. Quickly go ahead, very quickly. Probably not much point of this. But we can give it a go. The train is just behind us. Yeah, let's get a flyby shot. There it goes. Lovely. Get back in. Get that on, because Huddless at the moment wouldn't be a good idea. 17 miles. So that's already half, pretty, almost half of what it was when we left uh, Metro Park, which was... Oh, 11 minutes. 11 minutes already? So if we say about the same 11 minutes, yeah, so we'll be probably about 3 minutes late or so. But that's fine. This bit feels quite rural, but then you look through the, the trees and there's houses. In fact, I'm going to load up, boot up the Google Maps and actually see how sort of do we even actually get out of the city or is it literally is it like peninsula corridor where it's built up for the whole 50 miles let's have a look i reckon it probably is just built up for the whole way uh new york uh trenton surprised that um, when you look at it i'm surprised i didn't go to philadelphia i think that's what the um train some classic route does uh yeah that, yeah it's built up most of the way there's a few sort of little gaps but yeah for the most part it does seem to be built up most of the way yeah so built up most of the way so yeah a bit like the Harlem line you sort of think you're out in the countryside but you're not although in comparison on Boston Providence you are literally in the middle of nowhere uh, on there Forests to the eye can see. Now, I wonder if one day we'll have all sections of the Northeast Corridor in Trains in World, or just as sort of in sort of over Trains in Classic and Trains in World, uh, Trains in World as a whole, as a as a whole. As we've got, sorry, what parts we've got? We've got. Boston Providence and Train Sim World. We've got New Haven to New York Penn on Train Simulator. And then we've now got New York Penn to Trenton on Train Sim World. Although on Train Sim Classic it goes New York Penn to Philadelphia. And then we've also got um, Baltimore to Washington. So we're missing what gaps? How sort of bigger gaps are we missing then? 
Yeah, so we're missing Baltimore to Philadelphia, which is an absolutely massive stretch. Actually, probably fairly similar. No, not really. Probably, yeah, not not really. And we're missing New Haven to Providence. So, and New Haven Providence don't actually seem that far away. How many miles is that by road? That'll give me a rough idea how much it is by rail. Oh, okay, okay that's that's quite that's quite a bit. Uh, that's about 103 miles between those two. Uh, what about Philadelphia to Baltimore? That's probably similar. Between them, yeah, 101 miles. So yeah, a couple of sort of big, big sections, I suppose. Maybe in future, though. Another station here. Yeah, quite a few of the um, slower ones. In fact, actually, whilst we're here, I'm going to quickly have a look at the um, service frequency. Yeah, that's one an hour on that side. No, that was every two hours. Yeah, every two hours. And then on that side, it's probably the same on the other side. So New Jersey Transit don't run all that often. I suppose it is 10.24 in the morning, so they might be slightly less regular. Uh, maybe it's every hour in the peak. So yeah, so I suppose at certain times that it may feel quite busy, and especially with the extra seller services in. Um, so yeah, not busy, busy, but they're not quiet. I mean, that first bit uh, between New York Penn and New York Penn, that was quite sort of busy. Let's get that up. Cool. Seven and a half miles to uh, Trenton. That goes up. Might we might get there on time? We've got four minutes to go seven miles, but at 125 miles an hour, that is entirely possible. So we might, we might just about do it. Well, actually, no, it's three minutes now, so probably not. I reckon we'll probably get there at 31. That sounds a bit more reasonable. What's this? Oh, that's the cab car there. Oh, I didn't think the cab car came down this far. Well, there we go. There's the cab car there. I thought they only ran as far as Newark Penn and then turned off somewhere. Uh, but maybe they just didn't stop at Newark Liberty on the old train sim world. That's why it kicks you out there. Well, that's cool. Now we know. So the cab car does go quite the way down. Actually, I think the cab car might actually go all the way to Philadelphia. Because then it goes off towards um, uh, Harrisburg, I think. Which is like the Keystone Corridor. Yeah, it's might actually go right the way down. Right, we've got to start bringing it down fairly soon. Oh, maybe not. Something beeped. Well, it's four miles anyway, so we'll be slightly more careful. This bit's a little bit rural here. I'll probably very soon we'll start getting built up again. I don't know how many cat stations we've passed, but there's been so many ones we've just uh, wished by. So if you're doing a stopping service, you're going to stop at quite a few. I mean, it's about yeah, an hour and a half to do one of them. So it takes quite some time. I don't know what I don't know what ones we'll do on video. I'll just see sort of what ones are there and which ones are available to do. Um I think there's some which are about sort of forty minutes. Uh but yeah we'll we'll I will have a look. As I said we'll show each train off in some form. Beep, 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 down to 80. Yeah, yeah, we're coming down. Don't panic. Where's suppression? Suppression, there we go. I don't think it can then whack on the brakes if we're on that. There you go. And it is two and a half miles. 
Not too bad. That, that was a really good run. I don't, what, what did everyone else think? What do you think of the new section of the northeast corridor? I think it's fast. Lots of stations. Nice variety of trains, you see. Uh, new Jersey Transit, Amtrak, Cab Car, ACS, ALP. Um, so, yeah, quite a nice uh, nice amount, you see. As I said, I don't know this route in real life, so I can't make any comments on in inaccuracies and stuff. Um... But yeah, it didn't seem too bad. I'd say probably better than Boston Providence. There's just so so many more stations, and it seems like there's well, quite a few more services. Although, well, yeah, we'll go out and have a look, see what you get to play with uh, in a second. Obviously, excluding the Acela services, just, yeah, that doesn't seem to download for me just yet. But we don't need the Acela yet. We're, we're, we're in this. This is actually included with the route. There's another ACS. The North East Regional. As we arrive into Trenton, only about, well, by the time we get there, probably about two minutes late. Not bad, but yeah, that's, that was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, we'll take a look at New Jersey Transit next. Uh, probably in the ALP 46. Maybe do a slightly longer video on that than in the cab car. So I might do the little tutorial. I'll just do that off off videos. The boring thing that watching the tutorials. And then we'll uh, give that a go. But yeah, good stuff. Yeah, beep, 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 down to 30. Don't panic, don't panic. The world's not going to end. Yes, yeah, beep, 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 beep. There we go. That's that. That must be coming across there. I was going to say, uh, how are we getting across? But there's a tiny little bit going across there. You've got a New Jersey Transit service in there as well. Which maybe maybe some of them, I guess that um, stop back there was every two hours. Maybe some of them don't stop at every station. Maybe they're the slightly faster ones. So maybe they're actually every hour, but just some of them don't stop everywhere. I'm sure there'll be people in chat who have good knowledge of... Uh, New Jersey Transit and their operations and service patterns. And yeah, it's just it's just great to see another US route in the game and just another route in general on Train Sim World. Um, which I think will be fairly highly regarded this one as it's got New Jersey Transit. Which uh, I think US Rail fans have been wanting to see for an awfully long time on this game. Uh, but so now is the right time, it's here and yeah, I think people are going to enjoy it. And obviously doing the other services as well, which well, the Amfleet ones and Trenton Transit Center. And that, where's the red? Oh, there's the red. That little tunnel there. Was that the Metro? Is that a tunnel? I don't know, there's another something up there. That's where the line ends. That's where it will be... Uh, it will be leaving us. Let's not go through the red, as that wouldn't be too nice. That was cool. Oh, that's, you've got that nice little river here. I've seen better water, but there's that. See so the water on the Edinburgh Glasgow by Rivet. I think that was like you could actually see through that, and that looked um, quite cool. That looks okay, I suppose. It probably is fairly dirty water. Uh, but yeah, this is Trenton. Uh, that, yeah, that was good. Uh, oh, oh yes. Working lifts. Do they work on here? Uh, so yeah, that was 50... Well, near enough 58 miles. So quite a lengthy route there. Let's um, let's return to... I want to say the elevator. Uh, the lift. Well, actually, we're in the US, so it would be an elevator. 
Let's see if they work, because um, we knew that, well, they worked on Holiday Express, didn't they? And on uh, Edinburgh Glasgow. Well, some of them worked on there. So do they work on the, oh, do the escalators work at least? I think there's an escalator there. Yeah, escalator. I'm gonna go up that. I'm gonna be naughty. Oh, it doesn't let me go up. Ah, it, it knew what it was gonna do. That one's off. Uh, right. Come on, people, let me up. Oi, train driver, coming up. Go, go, move, 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 move. Lifts. Sort of waiting uh, seats up here. There goes our train. It's lovely. It's sort of an airport, doesn't it? A little bit. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, there's probably a lift here. All right. Well, down we go anyway. Whoa. Let's have a look at the... Um, what's that saying on there? Oh, yeah. That's much more frequent. So, yeah. I suppose some of them don't stop at every single station. 10.41, 11.26. So, I suppose, yeah, every hour or so. Um, but, yeah. We'll take a look at... Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's quickly get off of there. We'll take a look at this um, next, uh, the New Jersey Transit. Um, right, let's come out of here. Let's go back to the main menu and see what we get to tinkle with on the route. Obviously, excluding the Acela services, as that for some reason doesn't download yet on here. So, NEC New York Trenton, uh, 121 services in the ACS 64, 40 in the ALP 46. I suppose, yeah, sort of one every. Two an hour, or two an hour or so. Uh, Ninety-three in the multi-level uh, cab car, and then Amfleet's got twenty-six. Um, so you get quite a bit to to do on there. Um, but I think yeah, we're probably going to call it there. That's got a long service, and you're going to sunny side there. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll call it there. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. That was a first look at the New York Trenton. NEC New York Trenton route. I'm going to jump in the New Jersey Transit train now and we'll give that a go. Uh, do keep an eye out for that video. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us early access and hopefully, we'll see you next time. See you all and take care. Bye, guys.